guys welcome back to aquatic elements now you would have seen from the title and thumbnail we have something extremely rare going into the monster fish mega tank and this isn't a decision i took lightly i've been thinking about this for the past seven weeks ever since my trip to thailand where i saw some absolutely amazing not fish i would say they aren't a fish species now, the, what I'm talking about is the Fly River Turtle. Now, there is a lot of laws, legislation, um, and there is a lot of opinions around this turtle, so to say, and I saw loads and loads in Thailand. Now, we may or may not have got one for the Monster Fish Mega Tank, but I just thought I would talk about them in a little bit more detail before we potentially see what could be going into the Monster Fish Mega Tank. Now, obviously, Fly River Turtles, if you don't already know, come from the Australia and Papua New Guinea area of the Fly River. Now, these turtles are very, very endangered, and the, uh, the aquarium trade has actually caused them to become very, very endangered, and there are not many left in the wild. So, taking these from the wild is an absolute no-no, and it is completely irresponsible, and you should not be purchasing any turtles that have been taken from the wild, because, one, it's simply not fair, and I definitely don't support that. Now you can obtain turtles which have been captive bred. I believe Indonesia is captive breeding these turtles, which means that the populations in the wild can become more sustainable and they can sort of grow and de develop back to their original population size. And I really, really hope that people don't keep taking these turtles for the, from the wild. So it's actually illegal to own one of these in the UK if it's a fresh import. I believe the last legal import was around 2012, 2014. But you can keep turtles that are already in the UK and you can also keep these captive bred ones. Now, I found a hobbyist that was shutting down their tank and they had to rehome a fly river turtle. So I was jumped at the opportunity to home one of these amazing turtles and we actually have one so i'm going to bring him or her i'm not quite sure if he's a he or a she just yet i'm going to bring him round we're going to get them acclimated to the aquarium and then we can talk a little bit more about this absolutely amazing species now please don't be alarmed this is not an illegal turtle i do have the cites paperwork for it it is captive bred i have not imported this turtle and I've actually just rehomed it from another hobbyist. So I don't feel like I'm doing anything wrong. I feel like I'm providing it with an, a much, much bigger home than it was in. And it's going into a really nice aquarium with these fish. Now, obviously, I've done lots of research on these species. But we'll talk a little bit more about that once we get them acclimated to the tank. So let's check out a new Fly River Turtle. So now in front of me, I have my Fly River Turtle which I'm super excited about. And I'm sure there's probably a lot of things I've missed out in the beginning of this video. But once we've got him acclimated to the tank, we can talk a little bit more in depth about him and actually check him out and talk a little bit more about his care. And I might actually do a second video about this species in particular, going into a bit more detail, feeding, care requirements, etc., etc. Now I do have the CITES import paperwork here. We do have that CITES paperwork. So he is a captive bred turtle, he is not an illegal turtle and he's been sourced correctly. So let's take a look at him. Now, I have never acclimated or actually kept a turtle before. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to temperature acclimate him. And then hopefully you can see him just down there. So I'm just going to temperature acclimate him into the aquarium. Just for probably about 20 minutes or so. And then we can get him into his new home and we can talk a little bit more about him. The Fly River Turtle has now been acclimating for around 20 minutes, so it's time to get him in the tank. Now you can transport these without any water, you don't actually need water in the bag, you just need to keep them wet, but we decided, just for peace of mind, to keep him in the water. So I'm just rolling the bag down now. And then we can release him in the tank and then we'll probably check him out once he's settled in and then we can talk a little bit more about him. Now obviously I'm going to have to get him out without him, uh, him biting me. But here is our brand new Fly River Turtle. Absolutely adorable. So I'm just going to release him into the tank now. 
He's so, so cute. There he goes. I'm so, so excited by this new addition. Um, I'll catch up with you guys in a couple of hours once he's settled in. And then, as I said, we can check him out. One eternity later. So it has now been a couple of hours since we got the Fly River Turtle acclimated to the aquarium. I'm absolutely blown away with him. He is such a cool character and I can't wait for him to settle into the tank. So let's head around the front of the aquarium, let's check him out and let's talk a little bit more about him. Now we're around the front of the aquarium and we have our new Fly River Turtle just down in the bottom corner. You probably can't see him too well. And we actually have our new Stingray that we got in the last video. He's just chilling out with the Fly River Turtle as well. So I haven't gone into too much detail about the Fly River Turtle and at the beginning of the video obviously I was very excited to add him to the tank and I probably went over and missed quite a lot of things about this species of turtle. Now I believe I, that I said at the beginning of the video this turtle originates from Papua New Guinea and the Australian area. I believe it might be the Northern Australia area. He looks like he's trying to go to sleep now, he's got his eyes closed. He is a very, very cute looking turtle. So he is actually just sort of buried in the sand and he's just hiding away at the moment with his head out. But he has been travelling around the tank for the past couple of hours a little bit, but I'm sure as the days go by he's going to start opening up and coming out more and more. Now, as I did say at the beginning of the video, you can only get these turtles if they have been captive bred. And he is a captive bred specimen from Indonesia. And as I showed at the beginning of the video, I do have the CITES import paperwork for him. So he is a fully legal turtle and I actually rehomed him from another hobbyist. Now, I'm probably going to do a sort of fact file or care video on the Fly River Turtle as it would be good to do a longer video, more in depth of him. Now, obviously I'm not gonna feed him today because I want him to settle in, get used to the tank, and then we'll give him some food. Now he does, I have been told, he likes shrimp, he also likes grapes, and he also likes pellets. Now I did get a couple of different pellets that he actually came with, and I'm gonna be feeding him those pellets, a little bit of shrimp, but mainly I'm gonna try and get him onto a nice diet of a different mix of fruits. Now this turtle in the wild would mainly be eating that fruit-based diet, a little bit of fish, but not a super high protein rich diet. I'm gonna let him settle in for a bit longer, probably give it another 24 to 48 hours, and then we can feed him and hopefully get him swimming, swimming around the tank. So I'll catch you in 24 hours and then we can check out on how he's doing. Now it has actually been a week since we got our Fly River Turtle. You can see him or her swimming about now. He's been super, super active and unfortunately I didn't get a chance to film for the sort of the first 24, 48 hours like I said, but you can see just how active he is. Swimming all the way around the aquarium. All of the other fish don't seem to mind him at all and I've had no issues whatsoever. I'm absolutely loving it. You can see him just up there on the piece of bogwood. No issues with any of the stingrays. They're all doing really, really well. You can see him coming back over. Now I've actually got a grape here and hopefully we're gonna get him to feed. So I've just dropped the grape in now. It takes him a little bit of time to find the food sometimes. As you can see, he's just completely missed it there. So the grape is now at the back, just behind that rock. I'm really hoping he'll eat on camera because he is super, super cute when he eats on camera. But I'm really happy that he's settled in really, really well and we've had no issues with any of the other fish. Obviously, I'm gonna have to keep a close eye on the tank and fish just to make sure we don't have any problems. But so far, so good. Seems to have settled in really, really well. Nice and active throughout the day. No issues whatsoever, no fungus or any problems with his shell, which often they can sometimes have. But yeah, really, really happy with his progress. Oh, he's just found the grape. And unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to really see him eating it, but he has managed to find it. So I'm hoping that he'll be able to reach back there and grab it. So I've fed him so far on grapes and bananas and also some shrimp and mussels. You can see him sort of going to town on that grape there. But yeah, mainly a fruit-based diet along with some shrimp and mussels just to try and vary it up. He does take some of the pellets as well, but I'm mostly trying to feed him sort of fresh foods 
but so far he's doing really really well i don't think you'll be able to see too well from that front angle but you can see him chowing down on that grape usually i'll sort of split them in half so it's a bit easier for him to eat but as he gets bigger he's obviously going to be better at eating larger foods but he's doing really well as i said this is a little side on shot of the monster fish mega tank and overall all the other fish are doing well so i'm going to wrap up the video there and probably do a, a full sort of video on this turtle and also some facts and just some general keeping tips for the fly river turtle at a later date so that is it for today's video hopefully you've enjoyed it hopefully you absolutely love our new fly river turtle i'm so over the moon that i have the opportunity to rehome him and actually put him into a larger system and have him under my care now i have been saying he throughout this video but i'm not sure if it's a he or a she at the moment but i will try and work out how to check and how to find out that and then obviously we can give him or her a name so if you do have any name suggestions please leave them down below i'm probably going to do a poll on instagram or maybe a post on instagram as well so please check that out as well you may have already actually seen the fly river turtle come out on instagram and facebook as well but that's it for today's video if you've got any questions leave them down below and if you've got any video suggestions also leave them down below Thank you all for watching, remember to keep those water changes up and happy fish keeping.